Hey, 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 it's day 18 of 24 of the 24 beers of Christmas, and this is Max from Max Beer Review. Today we're going to be looking at Gallicus. That's the name of the company, and the name of the beer is called Basto Gane. It's a Belgian strong ale, and it is made in Quebec, and unfortunately, it is made by the same company, Gallicus, who's used exactly the same label as they have like a beer that I tried seven days ago, but the beer is completely different on the inside, but the label has all these numbers on it. But most importantly, it's day 18. Day 18, right there, day 18. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what it tastes like. And today it is a Belgian strong ale. Not sure what that is, not sure what it tastes like. I hope it tastes Delicious. Warning, I had a few beers tonight and I've had a few martinis tonight. I've had a few drinks overall tonight. So the lips are a little bit looser. Anyways, let's open up the beer. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm just gonna grab my glass. All right, first impressions. It is a slightly cloudy beer, but not noticeably so, almost implying a sort of unfiltered look to it. But most of all, it has a corn smell to it. It smells a little bit like corn. You can make beer with barley, you can make it with wheat, and then it becomes a white ale, but you can also make it with corn like they do with some mass produced beers. And this one has a very strong corn smell to it. Almost like if you had Doritos without all the cheese on it. It's just this sort of, actually the smell of it is like if you were to cook corn on a barbecue and then you bring it onto your plate and what's that smell? That buttery corn smell or maybe a little popcorn smell. It has that popcorn scent to it and to be honest right now, I'm not really that into it, but we're gonna give it a little try. So if you like the flavor of corn, there's a little bit of hops at the end, uh, but to be fair, this does not taste anything different than eating a bunch of corn. If you grab corn on the cob and you stick your teeth into it and start twisting it and corn's flying everywhere and you're facing up your nostrils, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like eating a bunch of corn. And I'm gonna try another little bit of it and I'm gonna give a nice quick review because I know I don't really like this beer that much. It tastes like a corn on the cob, so why would I continue reviewing this, giving off the finer notes when the overall taste of it is so corny, it makes me wanna to listen to corn. Boom, bach, boom, bach, bada, bada, muffin takes a Part of me. All right, let's uh, review how does it taste. I hate the flavor of corn. I can't drink this more than I need to. This tastes terrible. Terrible. Tastes terrible. Tastes terrible. I'm giving it a 1.5 out of 5. I'm giving it a three out of 10, I'm giving it a D minus. Do not try this beer. It tastes like corn, bro. Like you wanna eat corn, go eat corn. If you wanna drink beer, go drink something that is called beer. Don't drink corn. Nobody asked to drink corn. Nobody likes the flavor of corn. Nobody likes drinking corn. I was expecting a nice Belgian beer and instead I got corn got corn and the flavor of corn sticks in your face for like 30 seconds. I've been talking this whole time, I can still taste corn in the back of my mouth. The corn flavor is not leaving. It has a very cool can. Look at that can, that can is cool. Bad beer. This flavor is bad. Their other beer was way better than this. This one was very bad. If y'all want to watch my video from yesterday about my saison, I really like that saison. Um, but today's beer was a corn beer. Not so much a fan of it. Avoid the beer if you can. Galactus Belgian Strong Ale, aka Corn Ale, aka 
avoid this beer, do not drink this beer. Ooh, gross. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day 19 of 24 of the 24 beers of Christmas. This was Max from Max Beer Review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you tomorrow.